So in 2011, the PS Vita came out in Japan, and in the following year, it came out in the rest of the world. Now, it was deemed a commercial failure. Some people say it's because of the proprietary memory cards being really expensive. Uh, other people say it's because Sony didn't put any first-party support uh, on the line for the Vita, or at least empathize, uh, emphasize that. Um... I, I don't know, but uh, I had a choice as a child between getting the 2DS or the PS Vita. And because I had already been through like five 3DSs because I was a shitty child that broke everything they touched, um, I went for the 2DS. I, I straight up went for the 2DS. And uh, I finally actually bought myself a PS Vita like... A couple weeks ago, imported one from Japan off of eBay, replaced the battery, cost me maybe $100, $120 in total, and I've been enjoying this little guy ever since. I bring it to work, I play it on my breaks and lunch, I look like that total asshole playing my weeaboo games, <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to like go over some of like some of the fun stuff. So Let's see, uh, I, I uh, jailbroke it with the Vita Deploy. Let's actually go ahead and check out the custom themes manager. We got the little little mascot right there. I'm gonna close out MGBA. That's a Game Boy Advance emulator for all you uncultured people. So you're gonna download one straight, straight from the lab, straight from the lab. So because I imported this from Japan, the uh, the circle button is the confirm button and the X button is the, the, uh, the uh, back cancel button. Uh, they they switched that around in the PS5. The reason the reason being is because the, in Japan the circle is actually the check the check their version of the check mark. Um, but yeah, they swapped that in Japan for the PS5, and it's confusing like all of the Japanese gamers those those poor guys. But uh, at any rate, yeah, let's go ahead and look at some PS Vita themes. Um, <laughs> uh, got Daft Punk. Let's go uh, Widows ninety five. I'm looking for perversion. Let's see if we can find perversion. Yep, yep, we found <laughs> we found it. <laughs> um, and I I actually don't really want to change any of my themes to be completely honest with you. Uh, this be no, I don't want to install any themes. Okay, let's let's get let's get out of here. Yeah, the one I'm using is a PS4 theme. I think it looks really nice. Uh, it's very very good. Let's let's go ahead and check out some some other stuff. This is a Vita shell. A Vita shell is like a file manager for your PS Vita. It's a uh, really cool, very very useful tool. Very useful tool. Um. So like what I got on here is obviously obviously Weezer's Pinkerton. I can't have my PS Vita without Tired of Sex, of course. <laughs> um, there's all these like folders here. I tried to import my entire library and Content Manager wasn't having it. Um, what else do we got here? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, there's 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 a a lot you can do with this cool little guy. I'm not gonna go over everything. I, I want to also say this video is not supposed to be advice. It's just me like dicking around with my PS Vita. This is not uh, like any of my other videos where I'm actually giving like information and advice. If you're actually looking for information and advice, I, I would I would recommend a, a website in the description below. You shouldn't be following videos for videos for advice honestly uh, this is pkgj and i don't think i'm really allowed to say what it does and because i can't you, you already know what what it does um uh, what else do we got here we have adrenaline this this is actually really cool adrenaline is a uh it's it like it's like a psp menu an emulator i don't really know what to call it honestly i don't know the magic behind this guy but yeah it, it really really well it it looks just like the, the the psp i mean seriously comic reader what does comic reader do there is no software available oh, okay all right all right sad oh uh, uh what's going on that's a mouse that's a freaking mouse what's what's going on here I don't know Japanese. Uh, I guess maybe this says like it's shut down. I don't know. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go back home. Let's go back home menu. All right. So what else do we have here? So uh, speaking of comic reader, I wanted to actually show off this one. This is really cool, actually. This is a manga reader for your uh, reader for your PS Vita. I don't know how many people are are reading manga on their PS Vita, but I mean. 
Yeah, you do you, I guess. Uh, let's, let's go with the... Uh, you can see I was reading some Gabriel Dropout in here. So we have a whole bunch of like manga manga hosting websites. Yeah, that's what they are. Um, read comics online. Uh, but yeah, you can like click on this and it'll it'll bring a whole bunch of like comics and mangas and, and whatnot. And it's actually really cool. We're going to actually open one up here. Uh, Gabriel Dropout as an example. Hope this isn't considered piracy, is it? Um, but yeah, you can like go to a go to a page and I actually have no idea how to how to browse this guy. <laughs> um, I think that was just page. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah, you can see we're we're just reading manga on the PS Vita. Very cool, very cool. Let's get out of here. Um, <laughs> uh, what else do we have on here? Yeah, it's a it's a very very interesting app. Um, there's also one for uh, for HH, but that website's down now. So um. Um, again, I'm not going to go over anything too crazy. Uh, I have a whole bunch of other games here. I, I love this game, Rabbi Ribby. I think, I, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Rabbi Ribby? Ribbit Ribbit? Uh, you know, maybe, you know, yeah, I'm going to play, I'm going to play a little bit of it because I was, I was playing this, uh, at my, during my lunch today. I, I've been having a lot of, a lot of fun with it. I'm going to do some cuts. This is probably going to be a very long video compared to my other videos. I bet the watch retention rate is going to just be non-existent. Ah, coffee. Oh, uh, you, you see that in the corner there. there? You can, like, there's, like, plugins that you can do. Like, like you can install for your PS Vita, and, like, this one is, like, a, a little menu. Uh, that lets you uh, overclock it. So I have, I have some games uh, with the the CPU at uh, 500, and it's it's really cool. It's it's really cool, and I like to keep the uh, the frame rate up there just so I know what's what's going on. This game is friggin' adorable. It like captures every single bait, <laughs> every single bait for me. Honestly, uh, I wanted to see how much monitors I have, so let's go ahead and can I buy anything? Yeah, I got 600, so I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy a donut. I'm a little hungry. So this is actually kind of funny. I bought these little like pop rids, like little pop rid uh, grips for my PS Vita, but I accidentally, when I was like opening the package with scissors, big rookie mistake, I accidentally cut it. And so I just cut them in half and I ordered them again because I have no shame. And it turns out the ones I ordered didn't even fit the Vita at all. So now I, I for the third time, I've, I, I pretty much spent my wage, one hour's worth of wage on these these little grips for my PS Vita, but these ones should definitely fit the Vita. I hope. Um, but I think you get a very basic idea of, of what this game is. It's just cute like moe stuff for a platformer. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, you see my ADHD is going going crazy. Let's check out that Game Boy Advance emulator that I have here, Mario Bros. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why I hit the power button twice. You can uh, change the screen with the rectangle button, and that drives me crazy because I'm very used to using the uh, the rectangle button, the square button for for uh, running. Yeah, friggin' died. You get the idea. Game Boy Advance Simulator. How can you go wrong with that? Let's play a little bit of Neptunia. I'm not gonna play Persona 4 Golden because I haven't even opened that yet. Now loading. Um, I was I was actually attempting to play this game the the other day. Oh, it looks like my Vita <laughs> my Vita crashed attempting to play. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, uh, oh, oh, shit. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Um. Um. Okay. 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 Um. Um, 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 uh, uh, oak, oak, um, yeah. Y yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. There we go. All right, we're back. We're back in business. Yeah, okay, so, uh, all right, that, that was funny. That was funny. Not sure why that happened, but I have Undertale on here. I have friend requests. They're all sending me friend requests. Yeah, I'm good. I don't. I don't want friends. 
I think that's that's like the gist of it. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, I guess the the last thing to do is attempt fate with a copyright strike. I'm gonna open Vita Shell and see if I can play MP3 files from it. Let's go to music. Go all the way down. Weezer CD2. Play tired of sex. Yo. That's cool. I think you can hear that. This is way better than 11 music uh, player could ever be. That rocks. All right. Well, with that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it and have a wonderful rest of your day.